Hello, welcome you all to Mass College. I think you are ready to learn today new lesson formula relevant to grade 10. Okay, what is mean formula? You can see on the board definition of the formula. The relationship to or more physical quantity is known as formula. What is mean physical quantity? Some measurable things or measurable instance called physical quantity. We can explain to us by following examples. You can see here some plain figure like a square. Length of side is A, length of side is A. Area of square A multiply A, A square. Here, circle. C means circumference. Circumference equal to 5R according to your previous knowledge. Here, sphere. Formula of sphere 3 4 5 cubic car. These are examples for the formula. And also, these are physical quantities. And last one, arithmetic projection. To can learn at grade 7 about arithmetic projection. Here, SN means sum of the terms, sum of n terms, equal n of 2 within bracket A addition L. A is first term, L is last term. Now, I think you know what is the formula and uh, what is the definition of formula. Before solving the problem with formula, you have to know operation and opposite operations of mathematics subject. Because look at the board. You can see here operations and opposite operations of mathematics subject. If addition, subtraction. If subtraction, addition. If multiply, division. If division, multiply. And also, we learn at grade 10 if square root is square. If square is square root. Keep your mind you can uh, do very easy solving math formula problems today. I will hope to explain this formula lesson by using the example. Look at the board. You have three examples here. Make a subject. What is mean subject? You have as a subject one letter as U. That means you have to keep this subject letter only one side and another letter and that means another algebraic expressions, unknown terms keep to another side. Okay, I'll do first one because look at the very carefully this video. Here you, you have to apply opposite operation. That means we have to remove a t from this side because u is a subject. This one relate by addition. What is the opposite operation of addition? Subtraction. We can take this whole term as with subtraction. A T equal U. This is answer. We can write like this also with subtraction A T. And second example. We have as a subject simple R. Here 2 multiply 5 multiply R. What is the opposite operation of multiply? Division. Because we can, we have to remove this 2 pi from this side because simple r is a subject. 
therefore v divided by 2 pi both side 2 pi to 2 pi cancel r equal a upon 2 pi now we can go to the third example here as a subject is r simple r2 r2 here that means this whole term should be removed to another side that means from this side we have to remove what to do relate with simple r2 this term as addition opposite operation of addition is subtraction we can take left side like this now you can see now you have like this step here capital R and simple R1 you have to make common denominator 1 multiply R1 capital R multiply simple R1 simple R1 multiply capital R 1 multiply R 1 upon R2 now denominators are same now you can write 1 multiply R1 is R1 1 multiply R is R common denominator R capital R simple R1 1 upon R2 now you can you can use cross multiplication cross multiplication means this R2 come to as a numerator of this side look at this R2 come here R and R1 go to another side as numerator simple R1 subtract R goes to right side as denominator this is answer for to this and now we can see R2 as a subject ok now we are going to explain another two example also you can see here we have as a subject again simple R A equal phi R square you can see here we have to make as a subject simple R before we have to remove this phi from this side phi and r square relate with multiplication because they have to apply division look at the word a divide by phi phi r square divide by phi 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 cancel a upon phi equal r square but we have to make as a subject simple r but here r square have you remember what is the opposite operation of e square opposite operation of e square is e square root that means we have to apply e square root for both sides like this a upon pi r e square 2 apply to both sides e square root now you know what is mean square root definition what is the root for square that means here make as a subject is simple r here a upon phi this is answer ok now fourth example here we have to make as a subject simple l t equal to phi L upon G square root. Here we have to make a subject simple L before this 2 phi remove from this side. What to do? Here multiplication because we have to apply division. T upon 2 phi equal 2 phi L upon G divided by 2 phi. 
to phi two to phi cancel t upon to phi equal l upon g square root. You know the opposite operation of the square root is what is e square. If e square e square root if e square root e square because we e square from both sides t upon 2 pi e square l upon t also e square here answer is t upon 2 pi as e square l c now we have to subject as a subject is l we can try this g as a division because we can multiply i'll do remain part of here t 2 pi e square g multiply l this is answer okay now we solve some problems with formula make as a subject of the sum formula okay today we learned how to solve in problems with formula 11 to grade 10 i invite all of you join with us mass college youtube channel to learn mathematics lessons with enjoy i say goodbye all of you and subscribe our youtube channel